Welcome to the 32nd episode of the Crumble Cookies Weekly Review. Happy Crumble Monday and happy Labor Day to everyone out there. Hope you guys have the day off. Um, I did. So I decided to take the family uh, out shooting today. Brought the kids and everything. Taught them the basics of gun safety and we shot a wide variety of guns today. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a little bit warm, but we had a tent set up thanks to my friend Dan. And uh, yeah, we had a great time out there. Uh, shot shotguns and AR-15s and handguns and all kinds of stuff. No better way to work up an appetite. So a lot of fun out there today. And uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about some uh, future videos. I apologize. I know I've said it before. I've taken a little bit break um, from making some of my other videos. I've been just sticking with the uh, Crumble review right now. Um, but I do want to ask you guys, uh, you know, really what kind of videos you'd like to see me make. Um, really the... The variety that I've been doing, uh, you know, I do the classic, just the big cheat meal. I know a lot of people out there like that. I also do some of the food challenges, uh, which I do have some coming up uh, as well, or just maybe even some fitness and weight loss videos. Let me know what you guys want to see, because uh, I am going to start finally getting uh, a second video per week like I used to do. So let me know in the comments and uh, I can kind of take a look at that and figure out kind of, yeah, you know, I'd like to make what you guys want to see. So, all right, let's get into this week's cookies. Now, you see the box, it's only four. Uh, it is Mystery Cookie Week. My Mystery Cookie was Honey Bun. I just did that one not too long ago. Not really particularly one of my favorites. So we're gonna stick with four today. So we have chocolate toffee cake, caramel pumpkin cake, chocolate peanut butter featuring Oreos, and key lime pie. Now, I've had these two before, and I haven't had these, so we're gonna start with some of the newer ones. Let us jump into this first one here we have chocolate caramel cake now i can feel this is a nice looking cookie pretty colorful uh, it is chilled now it says it's a chocolate cake cookie please let it be so because they've been taking these cookies away and making them chocolate brownie cookies well all right well Oh no. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hmm. Definitely taste the chocolate right away. Um, I do taste some of that whipped cream on there, which is, as I mentioned before, uh, Crumble's whipped cream is, is really, really good. Um, they need a little bit more of it. And we got these toffee, toffee crumbles on there, which are delicious, but again, the chocolate cookie does overpower a lot of that. You kind of need more of this topping stuff on here to get the kind of balance of what you're hoping to achieve out of this cookie, I would think. There we are. It's not a huge cookie. Um, it is chilled, which I really like. Um, you know, these chilled cookies, it always changes the, uh, the texture profile of it, which um, I like a lot. I know a lot of people like these warm cookies. I like, I think I prefer the chilled better, to be honest. But again, um, I really wish I taste more of the toffee. I love it when they put toffee in the cookies. And sadly, it's almost always the case where you just never taste it. Um, except in the sea salt toffee, which is one of their best cookies ever. But uh, it is really good. Just not as balanced well as it could be. Last bite. All right, enjoyed that first cookie. Now this is gonna be interesting. Number two, we have caramel pumpkin cake. Oh, I can, I can smell this cookie already. Um, it's a soft pumpkin cookie. So we'll see what kind of spices they put on there and a caramel cream cheese frosting and uh, like pumpkin cookie crumbles on there. So, all right, here we go. You get a strong pumpkin cake flavor. It's weird, the texture on it is bizarre. It's almost like spongy and springy in the uh, pumpkin cake. <laughs> The um, caramel cream cheese frosting is really good. This is balanced well. Uh, it has a lot of flavor. 
um, you know, those uh, pumpkin cake spices in there, you can definitely taste uh, more so than in like their carrot cake or, um, you know, banana bread or other ones that are gonna have spices in there. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty pleasant. Take a look on here. It's a pretty thick cookie. And again, the texture is something else. It is bizarre. I have never had a cookie that has had texture like this before. Um, a lot of flavor. Last bite. Very interesting cookie. Now, moving on to cookie number three. We have chocolate peanut butter featuring Oreo. Now I imagine this baby is gonna be really similar to the chocolate peanut butter puffs we just had. Um, and I'm almost positive it's the same frosting that they use, the mousse, uh, very strong. So here we got a chocolate cookie with the Oreo bits and peanut butter chips baked in. So and that little Oreo on top. All right, here we go. Now, while the peanut butter mousse or frosting is identical to the <clears throat> uh, chocolate peanut butter puffs, the rest of the cookie is actually quite different. Um, the Oreo bits baked in, given that kind of that cookies and cream feel and the peanut butter chips in there, completely change uh, the flavor of the chocolate cookie, completely. Um, enough so that this is really a different cookie than the peanut butter puffs. Um, they're both really good, I'm not sure which one I like better, but pretty similar. And you can see, there's a healthy amount of peanut butter chips in the middle there too. It's a nice looking cookie. This is different from how they did it last time, if I recall correctly. Last time, they just kind of put the dollop on there like they did the peanut butter puffs. Now they do a swirl of the peanut butter mousse on there instead. I kind of like this, this look better. It's like how they do the swirl when they do their cinnamon roll cookie. Mm. Let's bite. All right, a lot of chocolate. Take that, Michael Suarez. I, we'll see if you really love chocolate now, huh? All right, now we have the final cookie is the key lime pie. Man, I love these pie cookies. And uh, <clears throat> I have to pay tribute to this cookie. Uh, first, I'm gonna do it right, I think. And I'm gonna try to squeeze a little bit of this lime out here. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but you know what? We're gonna do it that way today. Now, the very first episode I ever did, and the very first cookie I ever tasted to rate was the key lime pie. So, gonna pay tribute to all the way back to the first episode. So. I remember it was surprisingly delicious, so here we go. Mm. So delicate and balanced. That graham pie crust in there, that key lime meringue with the whipped cream in there, and a little bit of graham crumbs on top. Could definitely use more whipped cream. Man, I just wish they'd put more whipped cream on there. Oh, it's so good. This is a chilled cookie, you know, one of their pie cookies, and it's it's just fabulous. Um, it's you know the the filling is not overpowering. The key lime uh, the key lime flavor is fresh. It doesn't taste artificial. Just a really good cookie. Hmm. Not a huge cookie, but you know, you have plenty of that pie filling in there. Soft and crumbly, 
Um, now I'm glad I tried it with some of the uh, the lime on the top. Um, it definitely gives uh, an extra punch of flavor. Um, although I don't think I prefer it that way. Um, the amount of lime that they put in the pie filling is pretty much perfect. Um, adding more from fresh lime makes it a little too strong, but uh, it's still absolutely wonderful. Last bite. Mm. Mm -mm. All right, there you have it. Four cookies and very solid cookies at that down the hatch. Enjoyed that very thoroughly. Now it's time to give these cookies individual ratings and a weekly score. So I am going to ponder a little bit and uh, I will be right back with that. All right, let's rate these cookies. We're gonna start with the chocolate toffee cake. Now, good cookie, uh, chilled, love it. Uh, it did resemble more of the chocolate cake versus the chocolate brownie, which I was very happy about. Um, the whipped cream, the toffee chunks on there, absolutely delicious. It just didn't have enough of it. I literally needed twice as much. Um, the, the chocolate cookie just took over and uh, really just dominated the flavor of the whole cookie. Um, the toffee pieces were delicious. The whipped cream is amazing. You just don't taste it as much. Like it just needs more of it. But I mean, whatever, it is what it is. I still enjoyed the cookie. I'm gonna give that one an 8.5. Next, we have the caramel pumpkin cake. Now, I wasn't sure what to think about this one coming in. My mother-in-law makes pumpkin rolls, which is one of the best desserts on the face of the planet. I knew it was gonna be nowhere near that, and it wasn't. Um, it was still good though. The texture was very bizarre on the cookie, which I enjoyed, kind of spongy-like. Um, and again, the caramel cream cheese, I just couldn't help but wonder. I'm like, wouldn't this just be better with regular cream cheese? And the reality of it is it would have been better. Um, the caramel is just a little bit too sweet for the profile of the pumpkin cake. I, I can see why people would like it, but I didn't dislike it. It just would have been better with regular cream cheese frosting. Um, still overall, it was very tasty. It was a very fun cookie, I have to say. I'm gonna give this one also an 8.5. Next, we have the chocolate peanut butter featuring Oreo. Again, I've had this before. I like the minor adjustment with the swirl they made with the peanut butter frosting or the peanut butter mousse. Um, very tasty cookie, very intense, very rich. A um, lot of flavor, um, you know, not a great cookie to just eat the whole thing in one sitting, <laughs> but uh, you know, if that's your thing, um, but definitely decadent. Um, you know, this between the, uh, between this one and the chocolate peanut butter puffs, um, they're very similar, but I think I like this one just a hair more. I'm also gonna give this one an 8.5. And lastly, we have the key lime pie. Um, again, this is the first cookie I ever reviewed. <laughs> um, it's just a great cookie. Um, the balance of it is, is just done so well. Uh, the meringue, the tartness of the key lime, the freshness of the flavor doesn't taste artificial at all to me. Uh, that graham pie crust, the whole package. Now I did squeeze a little bit of the lime on there. I wish I wouldn't have done that just because it's better without it, but at least now I know. Um, just a really, really delightful cookie. I'm gonna give this one a nine. And that's going to give the total weekly score of 34.5 with an average cookie score of 8.6. Now, only four cookies this week. I still feel like I have a lot of room left. I'm sure I do, <laughs> um, but it was a good variety. Now, it was heavy on the chocolate, um, for sure, more than, more than I prefer, but these were actually really good chocolate cookies for a change. Um, I always like the fruity, the lemony tart cookies. Um, and you know, the caramel pumpkin cake, something totally different. Uh, so, and we got the holidays coming up here pretty soon. So figured that fit. It was a very fun week. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for joining me. And again, I hope you find this information useful for sure. Don't forget to like, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys in next week's video. Take care.